Hey guys, it's Katie, librarian at EGSC, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to research federal and state cases. So to get to the library part of the website, which is how you access most resources, we're going to start first at the EGSC homepage. And they're going to scroll all the way to the bottom because we have a shortcut right here. Now we've organized the page so that the search boxes are right here in the middle and you see that we have three different tabs depending on what you're searching for. Well today we're going to talk about finding federal and state cases so we're going to use Galileo. Galileo is just a fancy word for the online part of the EGSC library. So in there we have millions of bits of information on all kinds of topics. So to access Galileo, you could search in this main search box, but since we know that we're looking specifically for cases, instead I'm going to go to just a part of Galileo or a database in Galileo called Nexus Uni. So here we have a link out to Galileo, so let's just go to the main Galileo website. So like I said, we're looking at a database. So I'm going to go here to databases A to Z because I know its name. I'm going to go to N. And we're going to look up Nexus Uni. Now this database is made specifically for information about companies, information about laws, information about court cases. So it's a really good place to get good information. Now Nexus Uni is a new interface. It used to be LexisNexis Academic if you've ever used that. Um, they've really cleaned it up so that we can find exactly what we're looking for much more easily. So you'll see here, there's a big search bar if you know you're just quickly searching for something. But I actually prefer to use this search area instead because it allows you to add some filters so you can find exactly what you're looking for quickly. So today we're going to do a quick search for any cases about firefighters in Georgia because I'm from Georgia and a lot of you are from Georgia um, and if you learned how to find stuff for Georgia you can find it for any state. So uh, today we're going to look for cases that are state cases. Now I do want to point out if you did want federal cases there is that option but today we're just going to look for state cases and then you're going to look up your state. Look up Georgia. Gives you the option. So we're looking up cases in Georgia about we're going to say firefighters. Now this is where you're going to put your keywords or your big ideas. So if you knew you're looking for cases about just firefighters like we're looking for, you can put that. If you knew you wanted to find out information about firefighters in cancer or firefighters in retirement or something specific, then you could just stick that other keyword in there with an and. You could say firefighters and cancer if you'd like. And that's going to find everything that has both of those words. But today let's just look at what we can find out about firefighters in general. Now the fourth filter here is dates. And the thing about cases is that oftentimes people want more up-to-date cases. Um, so you can see here by using the drop-down, you could look in the last three months, that's pretty narrow, one year, two year, five years, or you can select a specific date range. Let's just do five years because that's recent enough to be relevant but not too narrow. We'll click search. And you see here our results, we have 38 different cases. Now if you look on the left here, you'll see all of the filters that we had added. Five years, it's a case in Georgia. And then right down the middle here, we have all of our results. Um, our first result says Shellnut versus Mayor and Alderman of City of Savannah. And then it has the numbers that correspond to the case. So this is just a quick summary of one of the results. I do want to point out this new addition to this interface is the overview, which is very helpful. It's a quick little summary so you can look at it and know exactly uh, what it's going to be about. So you don't have to read pages and pages to find out if it's relevant. So let's say we really did like the first result. It's kind of what we're looking for. So to find out more information, you will just click right on its title. And it takes you to the full text. You can read it within the browser, it has all the information. I want to point out a lot of it is linked, which can take you to more information. Um, if there are any other cases referred to within this one or uh, people, um, there's a lot of information that is linked if you needed more. Now, if you like this, like I said, you can read it here in the browser or a lot of people like to print and there's a shortcut here for printing. You can have it emailed to yourself. You can download it. Um, 
or save it to Google Drive if you use Google Drive. So you see here, there's a button right in the middle that says copy citation so that you can give credit to the creator. And from there you can copy and paste. Now remember these citations are made by a computer and you're smarter than a computer. So you want to double check that everything looks right, everything's capitalized, all the punctuation's in the right place. But this is a really good framework to start you off on a citation. So you can just copy and paste that right into your paper and it's done. So if you wanted to, you could use this link here to go back to the results list and you could continue searching for relevant cases. Um, you could use the filters on the side here if you wanted a newer case, if you wanted something more specific. Um, there are lots of filters on the side that help you find exactly what you need. Now sometimes searching in online resources can be overwhelming, so always remember that if you're looking for something specific and having trouble, you're always welcome to call, email, chat with us, get in touch with us any way you'd like to, and we're happy to help you find exactly what you need with Nexus Uni, with Galileo, or something else. Thanks for watching.